Welcome back to Free ERP. My name is Haley and today we are going to be covering how to create a new customer in P21. Throughout this video, I'll show you how to navigate to customer maintenance, where you create the new customers, and the bare minimum required to create the customer. The reason that we'll only be covering the bare minimum is that what's required to create a customer can vary from company to company. If enough people have questions, we'll make a part two answering them in the future. First, let's discuss how to navigate to customer maintenance. Open up the accounting module. Once you open up the accounting module, you'll open up the accounts receivable submodule. From the accounts receivable submodule, open the maintenance folder. Finally, select customer maintenance from that folder. The other and typically faster way to find the window is to use the search bar. After the customer maintenance window loads, if your system has multiple companies, enter the company ID that this customer will apply to. Granted, most companies only have one company ID, so you probably won't have to worry about this. Next, you'll leave the customer ID blank as P21 will auto-assign the customer with one. However, be sure to enter the customer's name in the customer ID description. Next, enter your customer's address. You can choose whether or not this is the customer ship to address by checking off the ship to box. If this box isn't checked, the ship to tab will become active. Once you enter the customer's address, you'll have to enter a sales rep ID. If you have to create a new sales rep ID, you can do so from sales rep maintenance. After you've done all that, click over to the physical address and phone tab. If the physical address is the same as the ship to address that we entered before, just go ahead and click the copy mailing address button. Once you've either hit the button or entered a different address, go ahead and enter the phone number. Now that all that is finished, make sure you go to the ship to info general tab and enter a default branch for the customer. Finally, hit save. Remember that this is just the bare minimum required to create a new customer. Your company may require you to add more information on the customer when creating it. If there are any other sections or tabs you would like to see, or you have any questions, please leave them as suggestions in the comments down below. I'll respond to your question and feature your question in a part two to this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps out our channel and helps us know what content you like to see. Also, be sure to go and check out our blog, Free ERP. We post content over there that doesn't make it into a video, but could still add value to your life. Before you go, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new P21 related content. It helps out the channel and will keep you up to date from when we post a new video. See you next time.